People cannot know God with their own abilities. No matter how much knowledge they have acquired, they cannot know God. And no matter how much righteousness they have built, it cannot lead them to God. To truly know God, we should receive His revelation. In order to do that, we must come to the Son of God and learn about God from Him. Without revelation through the Son of God, we cannot meet God. This is because God knows His Son well, and the Son also knows the Father well. However, those who rely on their own wisdom and knowledge by considering themselves wise and intelligent are unable to receive the revelation. They place more trust in human wisdom than in God's wisdom. Thereby, it causes them to cast cynical glances upon the work of God. They feel pride in their intellect, but their intellect can cause them to have arrogance. Eventually, it can become an obstacle that hinders their progress towards God. In their journey of faith, they calculate their own advantageous positions and fail to fully entrust themselves to God. Furthermore, they determine the extent of their dedication by themselves based on their calculations and limit the work of God. Those who are like little children can receive God's revelation. Childlike individuals acknowledge their own inability to be righteous on their own strength. They possess humble and pure hearts that enable them to wholeheartedly trust in God. They suffer from their nature because they know well that they have nothing within themselves to please God. This awareness leads them to recognize that they are in a state of spiritual bankruptcy and earnestly yearn for the grace of God even more. The teachers of the law and Pharisees were completely opposed to those who resembled little children. They possessed a strong belief and confidence that they were qualified to teach about God. They divided the law into detailed rules and regulations and considered their strict adherence to the law as their righteousness, so they taught accordingly. However, their teachings burdened those who received them and left people who had never thought about God's grace exhausted without hope. Jesus called out to them, saying, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus also said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Learning from Jesus does not mean acquiring theories or knowledge about God. It means becoming more like God in character. It can be challenging for us to let go of the worldly methods that we have grown accustomed to. However, when we move forward to the Lord with a submissive attitude, without judging God's work with our own wisdom, we will be changed as God has desired for us from that point forward in the creation of humanity. God will accept our hearts that are prepared to meet Him, and in response, He will reveal Himself to us.